Hello, welcome aboard. What a difference two days makes. Two days ago, Jack Frost on the roof, one degree. Today, 18 degrees, washing on the line, flip flops on. Mental. Right, if you remember my last video, I kind of refrained from talking about a little fledgling zebra finch because I wasn't 100% sure, but I thought it was different. I have seen it properly, it has fledged, and it is 100% different to the others. Well, almost, but I'll explain. I'll show you, come on. Whew, that's what I mean, glorious, absolutely glorious. Still not any lighter on the budgie front either. So let's go and have a look. I'm gonna come here, double door it, come round here. Okay. I've also got, morning everybody. So, here we come. So down here, mm, you can see down here, look, this is a new guy. Come on you, let's have a look here. Fresh out of the box. This morning, I believe, or last night. Hello. Good looking little lad. Or lass, no, no. Right, but done it. Go you, go you. That's it. So that's came out of this box here. Still got the two in there, but so this uh, box. I'm gonna go over there. Look, let's show you. All right, Ray, go around there. Whoop. So, hi right, up. Sorry, mate. And Finch just attacked the camera. So in that box there, there's obviously nothing in there. There was literally one fledgling Finch, like one on its own. Like I don't know. I don't even know how many eggs were in there. Uh, what was? Ooh. Oh, it's just on a rabbit, but it's a um, corn on the cob, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know how many eggs are in there, but there was only one egg, if there was more than one egg, there was only one egg that hatched. Uh, and out of that one hatch egg, obviously came one fledgling, which is down there on the floor. Now, I don't figure this up like it's a big deal, but it is to me because if you remember three years ago, I right, got rid of some budgies. Come here, little dude. Let's see if we can pick you up. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, he's up. He's gone up. He's gone up. I'm going to try and show you, actually, rather than try and catch the guy. But, yeah, if you remember, probably about three years ago, I took some budgies down to the pet shop and I came back with a black cheek. And since then, he has been. An amazing dad, absolutely amazing dad in the Avery. Uh, he's had, I don't know, God knows how many young. Never ever had a black cheek until now. Look. Now, the thing is, it isn't actually the black cheek dad that's been paired up with its mum, it's been another. Finch, which is, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll find I'll find out where they are and I'll show you. But it isn't who you think it was. So he's gone back up to his nest now. So come around here, look, around the lamppost. So he's actually kind of strange that he was the only one born. Very strange indeed. So he's been out of the box now for a couple of days. And, um, well, fingers crossed they're all right. They've not really been, I mean, it seems to be flying around all right. Come here, come on. Come here, come on. Ugh. Trying to get him over here. So, yeah, there he is, look. First black cheek. He's off. So, yeah, I've never in the whole, I think it's two or three years since I've had him, he's up there, look. There we go. It's kind of like flowing up and disappeared into the mass of birds in the corner here. But he is literally just chilling on the branch just here. So, yeah, I'm going to assume that like, the black cheek male that I got from the pet shop a couple of years ago is his dad, even though he has another dad feeding him with, obviously, what is his mum. 
But it's nice, fingers crossed it's alright because I've never had a black cheek and that'll be my first one. I've had some like different kind of colouring mutations, not a lot, do you know what I mean? Just slightly different, more white on the male's wings, a bit of white on the male's heads. Uh, and taking it away a little bit from, you know, like the, the boring, mundane kind of what you'd call the normal zebra finches. So having a black cheek, a little bit of a bonus. So um, yeah, I'm gonna let them all settle back down and uh, get back out of here because, well, obviously this amount of birds in here, it's just a massive kerfuffle and they uh, don't really want me in here, do they, for the amount of time I'm in here. So get out, let them settle down. There is like obviously one downside for it being nicer and having flip-flops on. Should have really put trainers and socks on to go in there because I've now just got a flip-flop oh, and a foot covered in like sawdust and hay and stuff, but um, I'm sure I'll live. So yeah, just let them settle back down. Hopefully get some nice shots of the black cheek and the black cheek dad. So yeah, just leave my line five minutes. Yep, all settled down again nicely now, which is good because it can be very noisy with the overcrowded. Although I have had some inquiries about some budgets, so fingers crossed numbers should start to reduce. But there you go, I just thought I'd like just, well, I was excited because like I said, I've had the black cheek male for probably two or three years now. I'll have to check my own videos to work out exactly how long I've had him, but I'm not sure. Uh, and to actually have a fledgling that's black cheek and be the only one hatch out of I assume a clutch but I didn't see in the box until there was like a furry baby and there was only one in there and there's obviously no evidence of other ones and it is a black cheek but the actual dad that's been looking after the baby is a black cheek black cheek dad like I said is really good at his job but he hasn't been dad to this little baby black cheek so I'll keep you posted exactly how the black cheek gets on and everyone else gets on and uh, we'll sort of go from there. I also want to talk about wild birds. I did mention it in the last video because there are certain wild birds that are really in abundance around here and others, not so much. I'll keep an eye out for the Sparrowhawk, not seen it for a couple of days, although I have got my landing net out ready because I think if he does come back, I don't think it's gonna be difficult to catch it. Then I don't know what to do with it, but I don't know. So I'll just keep an eye on it. Cats are here, so they should be able to see it off anyway. And touch wood, it's not actually done any harm. So there you go. There's my excitement about having a baby black cheek. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Tell us YouTube it's a good video, and I'll show you more of my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because the analytics say most people that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So just click that little thing that says subscribe and then click notifications to all and that way YouTube will let you know when I've uploaded a new video which won't be long because I need to talk about them birds it probably will be the next video bird related anyway because it's mainly about birds so yeah and if you want to know exactly how I built this aviary then click the card here and there's a playlist of I don't know how many videos four or five videos of me building this aviary because it was over there and now it's over here so yeah go and watch that or watch something else Either way, have fun. Goodbye. So